Hello everyone, welcome to another video, and today I'd like to show you a very cool and efficient way of designing a machine gun, or at least a sequence of gunshots. And what I've got here is the exact same session of the video where I tried to design the blinking ability from Tracer from Overwatch. And when I was editing that video, I had the idea of trying to design, using the existing sounds already in the session, this part right here where she starts firing the weapon. Right, so right here. Now, I've already done this because it takes a lot of time to do it, so let me just open up right here. So what I did here was I took this traffic light and the microwave right here. I just actually cut the microwave right there and positioned this sound right here, so it sounds something like this. I chose those sounds to be the basic layers of the gunshot. And then what I did next was I routed both of these tracks to a new one. So let me just do this again. And new mono audio track. Let's just call it a rack. And I'm going to leave it right here. And mute everything except these tracks. And now we can only listen to those sounds. And what's really good about these two plugins right here is that every time that I play back, they randomize the pitch of this traffic light a little bit, which is great because that's exactly what we need to the firing sequence right here. Of course, you don't want the same sound to be triggered all the time. You'd want a little bit of variation there. So these two are doing exactly that. So what I did next was I selected around one second of length and then set this to record enabled. And then right here under Preferences, I had this box checked to automatically create new playlists when loop recording. And then I set this to loop record. And I did this for around 40 something samples. And then you can see the new files right here. So I'm just gonna delete this track. And then after recording around 50 takes, I had to align them into something that made sense sonically. And this layer right here is just a duplicate of the spring. So this is how it sounds. And this layer right here is also a duplicate, but from this traffic light. So it's just a middle section right here duplicated a lot. So this is how it sounds like. And then together, everything sounds like this. It's all right, but it's not great because lining this up with the exact timing is kind of challenging. But there is a way that we can bypass this and do it in around two minutes. So what I'm gonna do is just copy, say this file, and then one instance of both these files. And then we're gonna bounce each one of them individually, but I actually did it already. So I'm just gonna go to that folder and now coming here to wise i'm going to come here to actor mixer and create my own work unit let's call it linear media and then i'm going to throw the sounds right here and import them as a sound sfx and then i'm going to put all of them inside a sequence container and then I'm gonna populate this playlist with all of them. So this is gonna be the first one. And then let's say the spring is fine. And then the traffic light. And now when I double click the sequence container again and come here to play mode, I'm gonna select continuous, transitions and loop. And the type of transition is gonna be trigger rate. Well, actually, let me just play back for you so you can listen to what it sounds like. So you can see that it's playing the sounds in sequence, but it's not right yet because of the duration. So I'm just gonna hit stop and let's put this like 0 0.02. That's more like it. And now what I'm gonna do is just randomize the pitch and the volume by a little bit. So I'm gonna click this Pepsi icon right here. I don't know if that's the real name of it, but it 
looks like a Pepsi icon. So enable, let's go minus 50 and 10. And you can see that the icon turns to yellow. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the volume, but I'm just going to offset it by minus 2 to 0, which is all right. And now let's listen to what it sounds like. Okay, that sounds all right. Now we just need to record this to an output. So I'm coming here to the master mixer hierarchy and selecting master audio bus. And under effects, I'm going to choose the wise recorder. Say default. And right here under path, I'm going to select this folder, which I've already created. It's under that same Pro Tools session. So from wise, I'm going to call it tracer gunshots. And I'm going to leave the extension dot wave, hit OK. And now I just need to close this and play back the sound. And now when I come back to Pro Tools, actually Finder, and then go back to my folder, the file is right there. And then I'm just going to create a new audio track and call it from wise and then we're going to throw it in, in here that's going to be a stereo file but I just need one channel so she begins firing somewhere around here and she ends around there and this is how it sounds like <laughs> And it works perfectly. It's just one file. We don't need all of these layers. And in fact, let me just hide them and make them inactive. And there we go. And that is pretty much it for this tutorial. It's super easy. It saves a lot of time. And in the end, that's all that we need, right? But anyways, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you took something out of it. And as always, I wish you have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. See ya.